Hey there, this is Samich, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 4. Last time, we leveled up our first social link, Yosuke Hanamura of the Magician Arcana. And we suspected Yukiko of being abducted by whatever's abducting people and throwing them into the TV. But that hadn't happened, she was fine, so... I think it's time to go to bed. It's raining again tonight. Something might appear on the midnight channel. Watch TV in your room. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Okay. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. That's what a cell phone sounds like. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Uh, I don't think this does anything. I'm gonna go with try to contact Yukiko. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, oh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I can just call Chia. Excuse me. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed early tonight. seems that only Nanako is here. I don't know why it keeps randomly going down to 30 FPS for some reason. Uh, where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Yeah, watch the weather like a normal little girl. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Dot 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 dot. You decided to go out. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. R. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. R. You retarded. So, which one strikes your fancy? Uh, I'll go with the katana, I guess. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. Juness sells katanas? What the... What the hell? The blade's fake, though. As for me... 
Wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this. Or like this. What about this? You are the most retarded person ever. Oh hey, a cop. I'm sure this is going to go well. Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. Requesting immediate backup. Oh boy. Yeah, because that's what's important. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. I didn't do anything. He was the one swinging the weapons around like a retard. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. I didn't do anything. We're sorry. He was the one with the weapons. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey! Did he say Amagi? And she really is... Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. High school students swinging swords in a mall being one of them? You're free to go. But this better not happen again. It won't. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yes, yes I am. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, am I allowed to say? Probably not, but tell us anyway. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have oh, pretty strong, you know? Holy crap, that was horrible slowdown. That time it was 15 FPS. And it just stays there too, it's not like the others slow down, it's kind of weird. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? 
Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Gotcha. Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Think that Yukiko-san? There you are! Sheesh! What are you guys doing? Getting arrested because Yusuke is an idiot? I've been looking everywhere! Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her Sal, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Well, this police force doesn't exactly seem to be... smart. That's the word I'm looking for. Smart. Dude, don't snap at me! Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right, that's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going too. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Yay, weapons. I like weapons. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? A metalwork site, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Well, that seems very RPG-ish. Here, this one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yukiko might die from this, for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! Uh, oh, all right. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. 
uh, 100 yen is about one dollar, so 5,000 yen would be like 50 bucks. Yeah, not that much. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Conceal a katana under my uniform. Okay. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Yay, now we can buy stuff can also sell stuff, but I don't really have much to sell other than medicine, and I'd like to keep some for last resorts and stuff. Okay. First thing I'm going to buy is an imitation katana. Make me hit a lot harder. So yes, I want to sell the golf club. Now I'm going to buy some armor. Chainmail, also for me. Okay, um, I think I can buy an accessory. Er, no, I can't. Oh well. Uh, maybe I can, if, if I sell one medicine, I'll have enough for another chain mail, so I think I'll do that. And... Buy chain mail for Yosuke. And we are all set. Uh, talk just to see what he has to say. Basically what you have to do to get special stuff is just sell stuff to him. And he'll eventually have new stuff for sale. Weren't we supposed to split up? Oh, there we go. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time, The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. Neat. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. 
When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the Magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Ha 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 ha. Until then, farewell. And I can finally explore places. How much yen do I have? 475. Here's a save point, but before I use that, I think I'm going to talk to people. This is a beverage vending machine. I'm gonna buy a few of these because these are pretty much the only way to res to buy SP restoring items. But you can only buy five per. I think it's a five a week. So I spent my extra yen to buy three of them. I'll show you them right here. Orange smash. A refreshing citrus 10 HP. Crap. I think I bought the wrong one. Uh, well, oh well. Crap. Yeah, now that I think about it, it is the tap that restores SP. Oh well. What you got to say? You know what makes life easier when I'm taking walks or shopping? The square button. With just a press of the square button, you can come and go as you please. Ah, the wonderful square button. The ever present press me anytime square button. Um, I know this is all kind of weird, but please don't think too strangely of me. I am going to save. And we will go to the dungeon next time. See you all then.